Welcome, 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 welcome. Um. Okay, let's see what's going on. Um, we are going to be looking at Gemini's because I think you guys wasn't done. Um, we're going to be looking at Gemini's and see what exactly is going to be coming up for um your year. Okay. Um, it is your um season, Gemini's. So, um, let's see what's coming up for you and your season, okay? Okay. So, Gemini's, um, we have 12 months of the year. So, we're going to be looking at all 12 months of the year. And see what is going to be coming up for you, Gemini's. Some more than rising sign. So, we look in a month of, uh... June for you, Gemini's. We see the energy of uh, the sun. So this is going to be wonderful. Um, then we see number 44. Um, light has been shed on something, whatever light has been shed on. It's going to be coming up in July, in August. We see the energy of the moon. September, we see number 37. Um, this is like going deep in a situation. Okay. So we have June, July, August, and September. October, the energy of authority. November, multiple opportunities are going to be opening. December, you could be traveling. Uh, January, I see a new start. Okay. Um, uh, oh, okay. So let's just go straight over here um, for it to be better. So we have June, July, August, September. October, November, okay, December, January, February, March, April, May. All right, so this is kind of, um, Wonderful. The outcomes um, is uh, um, the energy of number 12. It's about wisdom. Wisdom and understanding is going to be coming up. So be aware of this. So this is, oopsie daisy. This is, this is actually wonderful for you Gemini's. All right, we have some sort of a communication. It felt like this. We have so, some sort of a communication. Now, this is a sign of you, Gemini, Libris, and Aquarian. This is the energy of an air sign. And it is the page of ones. And it's about new ideas, uh, communication. But it came out this way. So it came out on the reverse. Deceptiveness, manipulation, all talks, hasty decision, hazardness, action, self-expression, gossip, or bad information. Now, whatever and however this is coming up, I'm going to be putting it at the top because we're going to be coming um, back to it. So let's just go in and see what is going to be coming up for these months. So we see the energy... Um, of the page of cups this is a wonderful energy um happiness and joy when it comes up to love for you gemini so this is going to be wonderful um the energy of the page of cups is always a water energy it's always about love um the energy of the page of cups is about love is being offered creativity opportunities uh, um news message information caution possibilities happy surprise dreamer sensitivity and a new love so expect that to be coming out in um the month of uh, june in the month of july 
we have the four of pentacles and this is a, an, an absolutely wonderful card it's about saving more it's about wealth it's about uh, financial security it's about self-improvement it's about control the duration of uh, solitude solid foundation that is good because i see a lot of you gemini's are going to be looking deeper in how you are going to be um working on the energy of money this is going to be a positive possibility in this year august a uh, new start with your financial uh situation the ace of pentacles this is wonderful um there could be some sort of a secrecy surrounding a taurus a virgo or a capricorn um, uh, um this is about the pentacles the energy of the pentacles has to do with money abundance and manifestation opportunities new career a lot of you could be changing your career um in uh, the month of august so this is going to be positive financial windfall it's going to be a very positive year um when we look at money okay uh, so these energies are very very positive um july august september october the energy of justice now this has um the the, the energy of um liberan really wonderful um sign justice fairness truth clarity evaluation because they're going to be looking at something very deeper so let's say that you gemini's if you notice this this has so many so much components that is going to be transpiring whatever is happening and transpiring it's as if something is looked at uh, uh deeply then we have another major issue jupiter in the upright position um the energy of the wheel of fortune this is the energy of fire it is about good luck karma um life cycles decision turning point in your life uh, ups and down but is going to be um positive so um this is absolutely absolutely positive especially when you get here in um these uh, um first five months so remember we begin by june july august september october november okay and um in november we have multiple opportunities coming in so you're going to be start seeing and uh what is so positive, the energy of the hermit is, is if you're going within and is going to be recognizing that there's going to be multiple doors of opportunities that is going to be opening up. There's going to be a lot of communication in the month of November. A lot of you could be connecting with a Virgo or a hurt sign person, but you're going to be creating a lot of doors of opportunities are going to be opening up because you or this person could be coming together to create these openings for you. Okay, so this is uh, going to be happening in December. I see the energy of travel, but um, I see, you know, you're trying to find strength to deal with this situation because the energy of the sun is here. And I see um, uh, you could be connected to a Leo and whatever is going on, you and this person are trying um, to find some sort of a, um, balance in your world. In January, there's going to be conflicts. The conflicts could be coming in with fire sign people. OK, so some sort of a new start or this could be a child or some sort of a new start and the conflicts um with this uh, situation or this person um it could be debates a rivalry with relationship friendships that sort of a thing and you could be having this with an aries leo or sagittarian okay this conflicts because it's the energy of having conflicts with someone who has a fire sign energy you know someone who breeds and go after the energy of fire okay then when we look at march some sort of a new start you're going to be um you know successfully moving forward this is going to be good for a lot of you gemini it is your year it is your season you're going to be moving forward the energy of a chariot some of you could be thinking about buying a new car um relocating moving to another level upgrading um yourself by traveling okay there is the energy of the moon there is the energy of cancer um but this is a situation where you're going to be moving up the ladder 
Okay, you're going to be taking actions. You yourselves are going to be making decisions to take action in order to move forward. And this is going to be good. Then when we look at uh, um, April, our, a, a resolution is going to be coming up to some sort of a relationship problems. I see a lot of you Geminis are going to be reconnecting and trying to resolve a relationship situation because you want to bring back love and harmony in your world. Some of you could be meeting someone new um, in the month of April next year. Um, this is going to be positive. Um, if you were divorced, separated, I see you're going to be going back to reconnect with this person in order to bring some sort of a resolution to a problematic situation within your marriage or a long uh, your marriage or a long term relationship. Then we are looking at um, um, April May, um, in the month of May, um, what we're seeing is that you men are going to be taking off the blindfolds. Um, the two of swords is about uh, often related to balance, okay? Relationships. Uh, you're having like a hard time getting through a situation. And a lot of you, Gemini, and if you're dealing with Librans and Aquarian, because uh, this is the sign of uh, secrecy in Libran, okay? So, if you, you could be in a relationship with a liberal man and this person is keeping a lot of secrecy and you're going to be finding out about this. OK, so it is a situation where I see whoever this person is, whatever the secret is, whatever um, they have been holding um, back or not letting you know, um, um, you know, whatever the connection that you hold with this person, I see um, you're going to be like intervening um, in this situation and really um, like uh, uh, communicating with this person because hair sign is about thoughts and communication, okay? And this man, whoever this man is, is like this man, it could be you as a Gemini, but it, it, it can be that this is your husband, this is your partner, um, is, is going to be trying to resolve some sort of an issue with you, okay? Long-term stability um, concerning work um, is not looking that great as you get to June. A lot of you could be finding out uh, um, things, eight of pentacles. Um, I see a lot of you could be thinking about working for yourself or thinking about doing some sort of a other activity. Now, this energy of the eight of pentacles, this is about... Uh, work this is about uh, your um, your stability um and it could have been that uh, some of you had some sort of a uh long-term work situation that uh, um you know you start to question this okay um and there is no you know there's no no reason why you shouldn't question it okay um sometimes changes are needed so you know this is this is going to be a really, really positive year um, for you guys. There, there is no question about this. And, it, you know, you can go back and look at these months uh, um, and get an idea that money is the name of the game in these months. OK, this um, year, 2024, going into 2025 is absolutely going to be a fabulous the months that you need to look at is december january december and january and june next year 2025 um and these are the months that you really really need to take uh, a good look at okay and as i um recognize what is going on is that uh, um traveling you could be having issues uh, with relationship, marriage, your partner. Um, and that is uh, the seventh house and the eighth house. The seventh house and the eighth house is going to be affecting uh, a lot of you. So that is relationship, marriage. Uh, um, these could be uh, karmatic relationships that you're in. Uh, 
we see this is coming out that is going to be affecting your seventh house and your eighth house is going to be deeply affected okay when we look at the sixth house the sixth house is actually very good because the energy of the sixth house with mercury um a lot of you could be connecting with virgos uh, a lot of you could be having some sort of a communication or a lot of you, your intuition um, could be heightened um, in this year, especially when you get to the month of November. OK, and in uh, the sixth house, so your environment, your everyday duties, I see a lot of you are going to go within. OK, because it is a year of inner wisdom. It is a year of you connecting to your higher self in a wisdom, okay? Um, the howl is all about the wisdom, okay? And this is going to be a promising year because, and, and you know, expect some sort of a good news um, to come in, in this year, okay? It is a promising year. The energy of the six of ones, this is always positive, is Jupiter, um, in Leo, uh, together with the sun, a lot of you are going to be um, really successfully overcoming some sort of a, uh, issues, problems uh, um, surrounding a Leo that you could have been dealing with, okay? And if you notice the energy of the sun, it's about radiation, it's about uh, being successful, um, connecting uh, um, with yourself as a person and as you recognize you not only have the sun and good news as the overall energy for the year um 2024 going into 2025 but the sun is also in june um dealing with a relationship so a lot of you in june 2024 you could be meeting someone new but in december you could be going on vacation with this person and yeah, you have known this person for six months, but you know, when you go on vacation or when you travel with someone who you're not, um, you know, connected to it or who is not someone that you, it's every day, then, um, you could meet some challenges because you could see some sort of a characteristic of this person and that is going to be showing up. So I see in December, um, it could be a Leo person that you're going to be having some sort of a problem. You don't have to be in relationship with this person, but um, it could be your in-laws um, that you're not getting on with. OK, and the reason why you're not getting on with this person is that there could have been some sort of a conflict um, that was in the years or the months before your um, season um begin and this is the reason why um you are having problems with this person now as you look it is going to be a good year there is no question about it and your your heightened awareness is going to be coming up and this is going to be absolutely um positive your higher wisdom and knowledge your intuition um your some of you are just going to become very very smart is a year um, to go and learn something else. It's a year um, that the universe is going to say, hey, Gemini, go study something else. Go take up another uh, craft. Go go do something else, okay? It is a year where the I and knowledge and wisdom, because this is the energy of the ninth house, but also this energy of the sun is uh, uh, the energy of Jupiter. And this is absolutely positive. So, Expect, um, Gemini's, that in the year, it doesn't really matter if you were born in May or June, in this year, 2024 going to 2025 or whenever you pick up these readings, because these readings are timeless, as you guys know, as long as you have followed me, you know my readings are timeless. Whenever you pick them up, it is just the time um, to get receive this message. Your wisdom and I and knowledge, and you see, one plus two is three. It's about the body, mind, and soul. It's about connecting um, with your higher self. And by connecting with your higher self, it is going to be giving you um, ideas, creative ideas, which in the three is the energy of the empress, which is Venus. 
okay the the energy of venus three carries the energy of love and venus and this is powerful love but as you look at the energy of the six of ones it is also very positive and the thing about it is that a lot of you are going to be having the idea of how to make money okay and a lot of you are going to be connecting with your other half okay and this is going to be positive and a lot of you expect positive positive connection and positive things in your life and a lot of you are going to be getting a lot of offer a lot of you you're going to be meeting new people new friends your new doors of opportunities doors are going to be opening so you can walk through them walk through them and uh, you know take on this energy and frequency because it's going to be absolutely absolutely positive so um you know a lot of you are going to be overcoming uh situations um you have a victory a lot of you if you're doing anything with public publishing um anything go for it if you're thinking about uh, um going um um you know virtual it is going to be a success okay a lot of you are going to be having uh, the connection of fire sign people that is going to be coming in and help you and this is going to be positive these are really beautiful because the energy of the six of ones is uh, um jupiter in uh, um in in leo okay and the energy of having these three fire sign energies coming and working together with you you know this is going to be positive and especially if you're working with sagittarian because you gemini's and the sagittarian carries the same frequency and it is your um opposite sign you're going to be seeing how wonderful this connection whether it's a relationship with this business whether it's a co-workers however this is coming up in your life how beautiful this is going to be so gemini it's as is you know it's a really wonderful um wonderful timeline that is going to be coming up be aware of a young person um coming in um this uh with some sort of a communication don't believe this person all right just don't believe this person whatever this person is coming up with um don't believe this person this person is not coming up um speaking the truth okay so a lot of you could be finding this out that this person could be coming in but not coming in speaking the truth about something okay so expect that to, um to come up so when we look at the sun um so some of you could be uh, meeting someone from another place, another city. Um, this is the the love that is coming in. Um, we see um, a Cancer, a Scorpion, or a Pisces. Cancer, Scorpion, or Pisces. Um, this is could be someone that you connect with. Okay, um, Gemini. Um, this could be a new love that you have met. Um, you could have met this person. Um, in June and in a six months time period you're recognizing you know this I'm not feeling this okay then we see the energy of the three of Pentacles some sort of a network connection um, that some of you Gemini had started is going to be ending up in conflicts okay and this energy of the three of Pentacles it has to do with uh, you collaborating with someone um to create um financial stability it could be people who you share a house with it could be people who you're just connecting with on a daily um aspect and you know you have to be careful of your second house because money is not going to be a problem a lot of you are going to be making money but if you're collaborating with someone and uh, that's where you need to recognize uh, that uh, you have to give yourself time and patient and some of you who are it could be co-workers or someone who you're collaborating in business there could be some sort of a conflict that is going to be affecting um and this is a karmatic situation because uh, it has to do with the eight hours okay then we see the energy of the elephant and there's some sort of a secrecy um could have gone on this energy of the elephant we speak about venus taurus hurt sign 
um it's a it's a hurt energy but you see the energy of the elephant is always about the energy of taurus okay taurus rule or the elephant rules taurus so it could be something to do with love um being in a relationship but also the elephant is about huge organization institution but they're going to be finding out something some sort of a secrecy surrounding a whole lot of money this could also be um um uh, your car dealer um your car dealership that sort of a situation um it could be something uh, an insurance uh, anything to do with car whatever it has to do but some of you could be having some sort of a problem surrounding um your insurance car insurance or your dealership your car your car dealership that they could be you know like just bringing out and ex expecting you to pay more so be aware of that but you're going to be moving forward and some of you are going to be could be offered a huge position in a huge um international um corporation now wonderful energy the energy of the empress uh, and that is going to be happiness and joy, especially in the fourth house. And uh, yeah, especially in the fourth house and um, the tenth house, the fourth house and the tenth house. And this is this is going to be um, very, very positive. Um, you're dealing with someone who is full of love. Um, it's someone who is nurtured. Um, someone who is abundant. This person is very, very uh, uh, financial stable. Okay. Um, so a lot of you, um, Gemini could be meeting this person. I see some sort of a protection. You could be the one who is protecting this person and their family. This is an earth sign person for some of you, but this could be someone who is a financially abundant because we have, uh, this is the energy of the Empress and the energy of the Empress carries the energy of love, but also abundance and creativity. And if you recognize what is happening is that it's as if I wisdom and knowledge, your awareness is going to be opening up which you're going to be getting ideas how to create your own abundancy a lot of you are going to be meeting this beautiful woman um but this person is beautiful inside and out go for it okay um i see this is wonderful because we have the energy twice the energy of love venus is here twice um we have justice with venus we have the empress with venus so and I see you connecting. So you, um, Gemini women, you could be um, meeting your soulmate, twin flame or soulmate. Uh, some of you, this could be a Libran. Some of you, this could be another Gemini person. But whoever this person is, you're going to be feeling really deeply connected to this person. Okay. Um, then we're looking at authoritarian, especially for you men. Um, and then we have the energy of the moon and, uh, um, when we have the eye princess is always about secrecy. Okay. And whatever there, it could be you also, especially you men are going within and connecting with your eye self. And this is the female counterpart of you. Some of you men could be finding out and going in to see how you can heal your marriage or relationship because we have here the energy of the empress a lot of you men are going to be rethinking a situation especially if you men were in a relationship with a cancer person you're going to be like how didn't i see this um you're going to be recognizing that this person whether you are married to them in a relationship their karma they brought back karma for you to work out something with them, okay? This could be a heavy heartbreaks, okay? And it is going to be affecting if you are in a relationship with a liberal man or married to a liberal man. Um, it's going to be affecting if you're in a relationship with a liberal uh, woman or an Aquarian woman or another Gemini woman or a cancer person because there is secrecy and some of you men, if you kept a lot of secrecy, um, because the, there is the energy of the moon and this energy of the moon is in your house, Gemini. 
And what is going to be happening and transpiring is that with this energy of the moon, you're going to be recognizing that some of you men could have kept secrecy and you have to face yourself with the secrecy, okay? Um, then we are looking at the energy with the cancer. And this is what I said. A lot of you are going to be here is the, um, the cancer scorpion, um, Pisces, Pisces, cancer, scorpion, woman and men. And both of these counterparts are in the reverse. You are not connected to scorpion people. Okay. Your opposite sign Gemini is Sagittarian. Okay. So. A lot of you Geminis always get in relationship with Cancers because Cancers is in the month, begin in the, the end of the month of June. But it is not always a match and it's not always, these are always karma that you're coming with. So the truth is going to be coming out about a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion woman. This could be a woman who you have been in a marriage or a relationship with. I see a lot of you Geminis are going to be deciding that this person had pulled a wool over your eyes and you don't want to move forward with this person. And it is going to be have, coming up because uh, here the energy of the hermit is going to be showing up uh, a lot of stuff that was transpiring and you're going to decide not to work out uh, um, this relationship problems with this uh, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. You're going to be letting it go and um, moving forward and moving on so gemini if you're looking for a relationship or a um twin flame relationship soulmate relationship you need to look in the area of the sagittarians i hope that this help i do love you guys namaste please remember to like share i don't know if i'll be doing an extended but um please remember to like and share come back and look in each month um we begin from june to november um december uh, to june okay i do love you guys namaste